Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Just from the title of this video, you guys know that I'm going to be traveling to Brazil in this video. I haven't been to Brazil in two years and I'm so excited. I feel like the older I get, the more I appreciate me being able to go to Brazil. Um, when I was younger, I definitely did not understand that I was very lucky to be able to go to Brazil. A lot of my friends can't go and I'm so lucky to be able to go go so i miss my family a lot <laughs> i used to go every single year since i was seven and then once i got into high school i started going every other year today's vlog is probably gonna be everywhere <laughs> it's currently three o'clock we're about to leave in an hour or so we're at fort lauderdale right now i look like a hobo today and this is the best that everybody's gonna get from me <laughs> seven six five four three two one you'll never have the sacred stone <laughs> oh this you crazy mother line and now I'm in the right line I guess I don't know okay so she's just waiting for me as I'm in line the line is huge so I'm just gonna go into the line now and hopefully this doesn't take too long so the flight's pretty soon this is really weird but I'm not a free vlog in public when I'm in Florida but I am when I'm back at home I guess because I'm scared if people know me are gonna see me and then then they're just gonna judge me but please help us help you Okay, I'm kind of embarrassed now. <laughs> together so we're waiting on the ladies to call us to go up so that they can figure it all out but right now we're just chilling and waiting for a flight now it's at 7 30 and it's six so we get an hour and a half we made it into the plane and now we're settled down and we have about 30 minutes until we take off. Yeah, I'm here. And I need a plug in my phone to charge. See if it's working. Just do this. Oh yeah. So, I don't know what movie I'm gonna watch. I was watching this movie called... I'm gonna finish mine too. Yeah, I'm gonna finish mine. On our way to Florida, we were watching a movie and we didn't get to finish them. I wanna finish that one and then I'll probably sleep for a while and then wake up in the morning and watch more movies. <laughs> and then wake up again and watch more movies. <laughs> it's eight hours inside this airplane. It's eight hours? Yeah. Uh -huh. In this airplane, yeah. And then when we get there, it's another two hours? Yeah. We lay over and... and we have a layover in Sao Paulo. For three hours. <gasps> I'm going to show you guys what we usually get when we get to Sao Paulo. We, go, we do the same things every year. I swear. Every time we go, we get the same things. Right, Mom? Yeah. You guys will see. Just a quick update. Um, I fell asleep for three hours. My mom found the movie that she was watching on her way. Fort Lauderdale, so that's what she's watching right now. I don't know whether I'm gonna sleep again or if we watch a movie. I think I might watch a movie for a little bit. It's 10:45. Gosh, it's like so in focus. It's dark, so my camera's trying to focus. It's not doing the best job though. So, I'm gonna go. I just finished the movie. It's called This Means War, and it was actually really good. The end was really good. The beginning was very confusing and kind of a little boring, but then at the end, it got better. Now, I think I'm just gonna go back to sleep. It's 12.34 and I'm kind of tired, so. I did sleep. And, uh, I slept the entire time. <laughs> So all we had to do 
there was drop off our bags. I didn't know what we were doing. And now we're gonna eat. I'm hungry, but like my stomach is not feeling good. There's this place. Yeah, there's that place. And then there's a Starbucks right there. Starbucks in Brazil is very different from the Starbucks back at home. I don't really know how to explain it, but Brazil is different. I would take Starbucks and it's super different. I literally just said that. We're at Starbucks right now. They have like Brazilian stuff. This is called the coxinha. There. And then there's poncho queijo there. There's just like a bunch of like Brazilian stuff down here. Europe, I remember they had like crepes. Is that how you say it? Crepes, crepes, and um, waffles and pancakes and stuff like that. They have pancake uh, waffles here. Yeah. yeah, that's the kind of waffle that they had. I don't know if you can see. Over here, it smells good. It's a bunch of like sweets, that's for sure. Ooh, okay, that cochilla looks really good. And then that's called the pas pastel. Wait, what is that thing called? Banana. Huh? So this is called the brigadeiro. They're the best. Except I don't really eat chocolate, so like. I have this huge pet peeve where I can't eat or like go through my day without washing my face or brushing my teeth. So, that is what we're gonna do before ordering food. Oh my god, it looks so weird. Yeah. What are you using? It's just acne cream. Ponji queijo means cheese bread. So it's like a breading outside, and then in the inside, it's like cheese and like flour. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> Wait, what's in here? Cheese. Uh huh. I don't know the name of that flour. flour. I think it's yucca flour. Oh. I don't know. But it's not like straight cheese, because I don't like cheese. Some people put too much cheese, and you can taste that it's too much cheese, and then I don't like it. When that happens, I usually take out the inside and just eat the outside. I don't like the, the stuff on the clothes. You don't like the what? The pointy part? This is my favorite part. What is it? So, this is a pointy queijo. I mean, this is a coxinha. It's mostly just breading on the top. My mom was saying that she doesn't like the top part. And then it gets to like the chicken at the bottom. Gosh, it's only getting worse. I think I'm gonna go wash this off my face. It ain't cute. I have yet to take off the acne cream off my face. So pretty out. It was just like pouring rain. <laughs> so that's where I usually get, like this is where we usually come. The, that place that we were at was the first time we had ever been there. But that's usually where we go. The Casa de Ponche We made it to our gate and look at our view. It's so pretty outside. Usually it kind of goes away. So I like spread it around like that because I can't see like where it goes because it's clear and then it turns white and then it turns clear But it's not turning clear. I'm guessing because my face is so dry. But yeah, I'm gonna go find a bathroom to do that. It looks so pretty outside. Oh my god I just want to go. I want to get there and just sleep I'm so bored I just edited like I edited the majority of this video, but I forgot to wash the knife and I was freaking out about it here. I was like, are you? I did, oh. I showed her how nasty the knife was and I didn't wash it. It's too late. It's 8.44. Can you turn this off? The flies were gonna be the same without you guys. With the people that you see the flies. <laughs> I noticed them saying that. I didn't think they were actually saying that yeah. though. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty much what she was saying is that <laughs> when they like That's call for people who are like late, um, <laughs> They like call the people their names and then they say, say the gate and then they say our flight will be the same without you. <laughs> and I'm always like, it's probably sarcasm. <laughs> it is. Okay. Brazilians are known to be late. Bad. It's a really bad thing. It's time to go. Oh my god. I'm so excited.
We used to walk through that door. We would come in and then get our bags in here. Yeah, this is all new. We got all our bags. Now we're gonna go get a taxi and go to my grandma's. I'm kind of like really scared to film over here because it's like not safe. Me holding a camera up like this is just, it's speaking English, like it's just not, it's not safe. younger I thought it was crazy but then I didn't really understand how crazy it actually it's was really it's really crazy I've ridden in like a bus like that before with my grandma it's kind of just how you have to get away go to places in here and it was a lot of fun actually <laughs> but I was really young so it doesn't count oh, <laughs> I don't think I could ever drive here I would actually I don't drive <laughs> we can literally reach our arm out and touch that truck. When I was 16, that was right when I started driving. I didn't really understand, I didn't care. I haven't like put myself out in a super dangerous situation. Check out on that Fun fact, the alien. the alien? The alien house, it's coming. That's the alien house? Yeah, yeah I thought that was the witch house. <laughs> I think I used to call it. that the witch house. I call um, it all, I always call it the alien. You guys are gonna see why I call it the witch house. Like it's look at this. It's a museum, right? Yes. It lit it it looks like a witch house. Like there's some potions going on in there, some magic happening. <laughs> no joke. <laughs> We're here. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. Okay. Okay, Cock. Hey everyone, um, it's a couple weeks after I filmed this video. I've been here for about two weeks or so. This is my little sister, Fala Oi. Oi. <laughs> Fala Hi. Hi. <laughs> she really wanted to be in one of my videos. and I'm going to make an entire video with her, but I thought maybe I'd put her into this one and show you guys one person from my family other than my mother. <laughs> I didn't have an outro for this video because I ended up spending time with family and not worrying about other things. So this is my outro. I love you guys. If you guys like this video, click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more. Um, I'm gonna be starting a really cool thing That's soon. Good. I'm gonna be starting a really cool thing soon And I know that you guys are really gonna like it. So subscribe if you guys want to see that and I'll see you guys in the next video Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye.